Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Doing another themed bracelet, and we're revisiting the XOXO bar. And we're doing this in an X-Men theme, but as you can see, we're going with the, uh, the old school X-Men colors. Okay, so me being a 90s kid, you know, I grew up watching the X-Men original cartoon series, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, we're doing that theme of color today. So we went with the uh, yellow, light blue, and the black X. Tried to incorporate the red in there, but uh, didn't really show through. But you know, overall, I think it still works. And uh, yeah, if you guys are familiar with the uh, old school look of the X Men from the car uh, cartoon comics and whatnot, um, yeah, this was a lot of the original colors. You know, they had that yellow and black logo, and I put the blue in there because um, a lot of the characters had that color in their costumes. I mean, we could have done this in the more um, you know movie theme, but I don't know, the movie theme colors are really boring. I mean, it's all just black and gray and yeah, it wasn't really, it didn't have a whole lot of personality there. All right, but that's what we're doing today and I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this one. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, folks, so to get started, you can see my paracord setup and uh, some people say I don't always show the bottom of my paracord setup. It's the same thing, I'm using my uh, double cow's hitch method and that tutorial will always be linked in the description got a half inch yellow buckle and I'm using red for the core um, that's because if you look at the X-Men logo it's kind of got a, like a red field behind the X and I don't know how well that's gonna show through but hey I'm gonna try at least all right okay so we got that of course all measurements will be annotated right here in the video got my two colors um, and as I mentioned before we're doing this old school X-Men style so um, we're using the yellow and this light blue because I believe Wolverine had light blue in his some iterations of his costume as well as Cyclops and a lot of the other characters. So we're using the blue and the yellow. You can just do all yellow if you want, but um, I think the blue really adds to it. Okay, so we've got, uh, what was this? About three and a half feet of the each, yellow and blue. So I want blue on the outside um, I think it'll work either way, but I'm going to do blue on the outside and yellow going across the core. Okay, so we're going to do our standard Solomon knot. So, uh, yeah, yellow over the core, blue behind. Pull that through to the other side. And I'm going to set up it like that. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that set up, now we're going to take our accent color, which is black for the X. I'm using gutted cord in this case because I don't want the um, the X to be too pronounced. I noticed, I tried this with, you know, gutted and ungutted, and I feel like the gutted looks a little better. You can leave the guts in if you want. I was going to try to get, use gutted to keep the, um, to show the X more. So I've got, I think this is roughly four feet. The black, I'm going to put that behind. And what we're going to do here is we're going to anchor it in by tying another Solomon knot, like so. Okay, so we're going to pull that tight. And then we're going to pull these up. Make sure these are equal. Yep, these are about equal. Okay, so there you go. Now you have your black anchored in. You have a couple Solomon knots. So now I'm going to do left over the middle, right over the middle. I'm always going to do uh, left, right, just to keep it consistent so it looks nice. So we got both over the core like that. And then now we just continue and tie our Solomon knot. Okay, so we're going to pull that shut. And then now, you see there's a bit of slack here, just kind of give a bit of a pull to each of the, the black strands. And there we go. What's the first X? Probably not showing up very well on camera, the X's, because, um, you know, black on black. But when you look at it in person, you can definitely see the X's. Okay, so that was one. So now we're going to take both of these strands. We're going to move them up here, like so. And then we're going to tie our next Solomon knot, like that. Pull this shut. Now, every time you do that, again, pull on these black strands a little bit just to get the slack out because there will be 
slack behind and also make sure there aren't too many um twists on the back because it's if you if you're using gutted that is because it might twist up okay so that's one now again uh, left first and then right sorry get my cords out of the way left and right like that and then another so on a knot okay pull that shut and get the slack out there you go so as you can see this is starting to come together nicely and we're just going to re continue repeating this pattern over and over again until we get down to the end of our core and we will be done well i'll show you what to do when we get to the end but uh, almost done all right so i'm just going to continue that let's do one more uh, left right like so and then solomon knot so already i really feel like this is already really looking like an x-men themed bracelet which is pretty sweet okay so we're gonna work our way down our bracelet and we'll move on to the next step okay so i'm just about done and lucky me um, as you can see i've got one last x to do and it's going to finish just about perfectly all right so uh, if you're not that lucky and the spacing doesn't work out so well uh, it's okay just do what you can and yeah so i'm just going to tie this last knot it's like my measurements for my amount of black needed were just about right i have too much of my main color i tend to do that though i always overestimate because i really don't want to underestimate then i'll run out and have to do it again anyways okay so that is done for now and now i'm just going to snip and singe off all the excess just all these cords and we'll be finished okay and there we have it we are finished i want to give you guys one cla close uh, last look at this x-men themed xoxo bar paracord bracelet so um the red didn't really show through like i planned because yeah it's just the way the paracord works it kind of just covers it up but overall though it's nice to have that little red accent in there which i think is pretty nice and if we're to close the bracelet i feel like those x's show a lot more all right and there we have it that is it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free to leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can let me know what you think of this bracelet in the comments uh, let me know if you guys feel like this really communicates the x-men theme i think it does i think it's pretty cool and uh, yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next tutorial